In Santa Cruz, four men arrested for the double murder of a four-year-old Watsonville girl and a rival gang member were in court today, where they were formally charged with murder. Action News reporter Phil Gomez was there. He now has this report. Juan Cruz, Jimmy Espinosa, Gilberto Ponciano, and Roberto Ramirez walked into Superior Court with a flurry of camera shutters. One defendant, Jimmy Espinosa, struggled to keep his face hidden. There are four of eight Watsonville gang members who police say conspired to murder Ramon Rendon and in doing so also killed four-year-old Jalen Marie Zavala on October 10th outside the Fish House restaurant in Watsonville. It appears to be totally gang motivated. This was a rival gang member that was killed. Police say that there were two shooters, Marcos Robles and Michael Escobar, but they can't tell yet who fired the bullet that killed little Jalen. Until we get the ballistics back from the Department of Justice who did an extensive um, crime scene analysis, collection of evidence, and they're going to do ballistics um, on the bullets that were recovered from both victims. Michael Escobar's attorney says witnesses never identified his client as a shooter. Police say he was wearing a bulletproof vest and they found a gun on him. The thing that ties Michael Escobar to this is simply the fact that he was leaving the scene, running away from the scene, wearing a bulletproof vest and having a spent gun in his belt. So that is certainly suspicious, but based upon the live witness statements that were given at the scene, all of them say that Michael Escobar is not the shooter. Escobar was scheduled to appear in court Wednesday, as well as the others, but he was ill. His preliminary hearing, scheduled for January 26, will likely be continued because of the additional arrests. His alleged accomplices will be back in court next January to enter pleas. They're in the county jail being held without bail. There is a lot of evidence still um, that, needs, that we need to still go through. There's still um, a lot of paperwork that needs to be done, and there's still two um, people that are outstanding. Amado Marshall Hernandez arrived at the county jail last night. He was tracked down and arrested in Bakersfield. Two other suspects, Marcos Robles and Brandon Ruiz Martinez, remain at large. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. Also on the crime watch, some new information on the arrest of an accused high-profile vandal. They say he's been making his mark throughout California. Derek Murphy, 21 years old from Petaluma, was arrested earlier this week, charged with vandalism. Investigators say he has been tagging public and private property all over Santa Cruz County and elsewhere. Police say he even tagged two of their vehicles. Today, Santa Cruz police tell Action News Murphy may be responsible for hundreds of taggings on the West Coast. The case is getting a lot of interest from police from other departments. We'll send out what we call a critical reach flyer to all of the agencies on the West Coast asking if they have damage committed by this individual. And what we'll do is we'll work with them, we'll collaborate, and we'll share information and help them in the development of their case. Murphy has not yet been arraigned. He remains in the Santa Cruz County Jail. Sentencing today, <coughs> excuse me, today for a Santa, Santa Cruz woman convicted in the assault of two Capitola cops. 25-year-old Felicia Bica will spend eight years in prison after a jury convicted her of driving her car at two police officers that were in pursuit. She was also found guilty of possession of drugs in jail. Bica was already on probation before both the incidents.